Wilson's Comet, the world's first buoyant smartphone. It floats in water. It will be the world's lightest smartphone. I have an example here working in my hand. It's about 82 grams. Uh, final product will probably be about 89 total. Um, we are going to market hopefully the end of summer, beginning of fall. And not only will it be buoyant and also be the world's lightest smartphone, but we also have different specifications on the phone that no other phone in the market has. Um, I'm going to display one. Let's see if it'll show here for you. I don't know if you can see these LEDs, but um, these LEDs will be on the entire phone all the way across. They will be able to be synced with music. They will also be able to be synced with notifications. So for instance, if you wanted a LinkedIn thing to blink blue once, or if you wanted a phone call to come in from a friend and you wanted it to blink red twice, you can customize that as well. Um, another feature on the phone that we have that no other company has is called Pro Presentation. From one phone to another, if I have a Comet phone and you have one, I can send you this digital brochure or a Microsoft Word document or something on your screen and while I'm scrolling on mine, it's scrolling on yours. It becomes a master slave thing with multiple phones. Um, we'll probably have a max of five to start, but we'll be looking to expand that for all Wi-Fi so someone could take an entire office presentation and utilize that. Um, on top of that, our phone will have Qualcomm Snapdragon 821, so it'll be the latest and highest chipset. It's going to be 6 GB RAM. It's going to come in 32, 64 GB, and 128. And the good thing is the price point peaks out at 575 for a 128 GB. In comparison to iPhone 128, you're looking at like almost $1,000, $900. So there's definitely a big price difference. Otherwise, on top of that, we also have a split camera, so you can record videos front and back and photos front and back. Um, we also have a bunch of other software features that I won't get into currently. We're looking to make the molding actually indestructible. Um, we're working on that with certain polymers that I can't divulge, but I mean, we have a ton of specs, a uh, ton of features, and at the end of the day, our phone is definitely gonna stand out, not only because of the features in the phone, but the specs as well. Um, we're kind of looking to disrupt the market. We're trying to put out a product that undercuts the big boys' prices, but gives you the specs that are even better than some of theirs. And that's basically common in a nutshell. The future is going to be amazing, and we hope you're there with us.